could fathom what the Abbey is doing. Even if they did let us know on purpose, why would they leave us be? I would have expected them to press the attack against us. Even if their aim is to capture our allies as some kind of leverage against us, their plan is too many holes. What if we decided to abandon Kamuana and the others? They'd be no closer to capturing Velvet. Do they actually want the Therians back? What are you saying? Why did Melchior place that illusion on a ball to lure Velvet in? That was so he could capture her, right? And in case he couldn't capture her, he could kill her and create another Therian. Okay, so if securing the Therians is so important to them, why would they throw Orthrus to the winds? That's a puzzler. Melchior was right there, and he didn't try to protect Orthrus at all. I don't understand it. It's like they're toying with us. I don't see any point in that either. They must know we won't give up. Actually, that could be close to the mark. What if they're just trying to rattle us? Everything would fit, including the assault on Titania. Whatever's going on, I don't think we're going to like it. Oh, for sure. Siegfried and Armati. So, Eleanor, about that Armatus Oscar used, was that something the Abbey has been working on for a while? I was never involved in weapons development or anything like that, but I did hear of the secret research division. Word was that they were deciphering ancient scrolls and books coming from every corner of the Empire. Apparently, Teresa knew something of the ancient tongue, and they called her in to help from time to time. Did she work on Enominat's book? I was never privy to any of the details, but I think the books were mostly about controlling Malachim. Well, that Siegfried thing of Zavid's is some kind of power control device, right? The Abbey probably learned about Siegfried in one of those books, and realized they could use it to armatize. So Melchior tracked Zavid down and stole the formula. Makes sense. It was all so they could create the Armatus. Will Eifried be alright? Complete or not, they've seen that they can use the Armatus in battle. They have no use for him anymore. <sighs> Let's get back to Titania, Aizen. I'll help out with the ship. Right. Let's set sail. All right, let's switch to Velvet. Right. And I think we're ready to move. Let's go, Benwick. Take me to Titania. So far. So it was you all along, Bien Fu. M Miss Mogilu! I'm surprised I didn't sense it. There is a Gesh on you, interfering with our pact. <laughs> well played, Melchior. Impressive. That old man must have planned all of this from the very moment you escaped me. Even my imprisonment in Titania and my encounter with Velvet. All calculated down to the minute. <laughs> nice. F forgive me, Miss Mogilu. There was no way I could fight against Lord Melchior's arts. <sighs> I don't care. I don't care about anything. And I don't care that I don't. You've caught me red-handed! <sighs> I've been in league with the Abbey this whole time! That's not true! I'm the one you want! We were listening. We heard it all. Oh, boring. Fine then, do with us what you will. It's not like I trusted you to begin with. Spy or no spy, this was inevitable. Besides, you're not sorry. Make yourself useful and fight for us. <sighs> You're good at this cruelty that's also compassion thing, aren't you? I just don't have the time to deal with you two. After this whole business is over with, I'll devour you. 
if that's what you want. Hey, Velvet. Tell me, what does it feel like to hate? Does it torment you? Is it agony? Does the searing fire of your hatred empower you to feel? Does it give your life meaning where there was none? <laughs> Land ho! Titania! There's an Abbey ship in the front docks! Take us around back! If you want your answer, fight by my side. You'll see it the very moment I kill Artorias. In the face of doom, still the crow caws defiantly. <laughs> you really know how to vex me. And you love to talk in riddles, don't you? So, you're using the Forbidden Arts. This has to be Melchior's doing. Stop! I'm the one you want! The Lord of Calamity. That again? What a melodramatic name. It's what you're called by the scores of citizens whose lives you've ruined. Face the enormity of your sins. What idiocy. Huh. We'll carve the weight of your sin from your flesh. We are the wings of the divine will. <laughs> the Armadas! As expected. Oh, these are the water and earth armatus forms. Die or get stunned, either one. Oh, hey, Discord. That'll kill you. destroyed themselves just as i expected the abbey they know exactly what they're doing grimoire where are the therians couldn't tell you they came out of nowhere and before i knew it we were all split up how's the book nearly done but i'm still working on the critical passages at the very end all of you, get on board the Von Eltia. I'll find the Therians. Oh? You really think we can make it past a horde of armatized exorcists? Stay behind. I don't care. Ugh. Don't touch that! You don't have to do this alone. We're all in this together. And I promise. I promise I'll protect you, Velvet. You'll protect me. Long ago, Lafi said the same thing. 
But that sort of idealistic drivel will kill you. Make your worthless promises. They won't change reality. Look what happened to Lothi. Dead. Murdered. And I... I couldn't protect him either. In the end, no matter how much he cared for me, my only brother, he... His life torn away from him. Oh, it must have hurt. Velvet. You worry about yourself, Lafayette. said. That's an order. An... an order. We have to keep Inominat out of the picture. So that I can kill Artorius. Well, that was an event. Let's go. We'll push the enemy back and keep an eye out for the Therians. <sighs> Oh, there's an uh, exclamation right there. I almost missed that. Curse you, Abby. This place was finally starting to feel like a hideout. I hate to say it, but we can't beat the exorcists. All we can do now is protect this harbor with our very lives. Aye, let's do it. We'll guard your back, Eisen. So don't worry about us. Go give those exorcist dirtbags a big old beatdown. You got it. I'm counting on you to protect the docks. Yeah, cool. I had not expected to be optional dialogue during this sequence of events. I know this isn't the best time, but I have something to say. Please forgive me. I've been a spy for Lord Melchior. You were the one telling the Abbey about us? Yes! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Melchior is a clever one, isn't he? Planting his spy right next to Magilu. After all, a forest is the best place to hide a tree. Melchior used his arts to place orders on Bienfu that overrode Magilu's pact. <sighs> that son of a dog. <laughs> Please don't hate me! I meant Melchior, not you. Really? Exerting control over someone else's life goes against everything Aizen stands for. We know you were forced to do it against your will. But my spying put everyone in serious danger. That's still a fact. The Bloodwings also knew what we were up to. The Abbey would have figured it out with or without you. What'd you tell them anyway? Um, uh, that Velvet is actually pretty good wife material? And what fishing rods Aizen prefers? And what Miss Mogulu says in her sleep? And how fast Dial's tail regrows? What? That's what you told them? It's done. Pay it no more heed. But things must be set aright. Aright? How? Eleanor, I apologize for suspecting you. I'm sorry. Aizen? That's right! I must apologize as well! I'm deeply sorry, Lady Eleanor! Very well. Apologies accepted all around. <laughs> Too late, I already hate Bienfu. Are exorcists using armatization aware that it could cost them their lives? I'm sure they are. If I were still with the Abbey, I would likely be using an armatus too. Endangering one's own life in order to save the many? It's the logical choice, but using something that dangerous so frequently in battle is absolutely wrong. The Abbey must be starting to feel the pressure, too. Even so, the losses are unacceptably high. That's how badly they want the Therians, and how big a threat we represent. Or it could be that it has nothing to do with us, and the real point is to test their new weapon. That can't be. It's all an experiment? A blade proves its true worth by making it through battle unbroken. Are exorcists all that different? Your logic is sound, but it's still awful. We were able to survive this time, but it won't be much longer until they've perfected the armatization. That's not the only thing we need to worry about where ticking clocks are concerned. Am I wrong? 
velvet. It doesn't matter. We kill whoever gets in our way. Where exactly am I going? To the back dock? Time to dish out spanking. You guys are gonna die like super quick. It's not even funny how quick you're gonna die. Easy. Easy stun. Oh, look at these six souls. Easy break boost. Your style is really. I don't really know where I'm going. The North Watchtower. Oh, White Turtles. He's uh the merchant guy. First they robbed the Malakim of their will, and now their bodies too. Makes me sick. But still, it fits their reason. They want strength, and no art can squeeze strength from a Moloch like that one. I want to let them finish. <laughs> Oh, you stunned me. Oh, Divine Basalt Blow. That's his Asteria move. I'm not getting any stuns right now. Now I got one as I killed him. Oh, double. Game's making it up to me. I got skill crusher. I should add that somewhere. Are we going to put Scare Crusher in a uh, shortcut? I do love me some Scale Crusher. Oh, you died. I didn't get the lethal pain you. I'm not gonna bother with that elephant thing. Oh, why does that have to be you? Let's get this over with. <laughs> Give me some of these. That'll do. I don't really know where I'm going right now. Oh, right there. Perfect. I was going the right way. There's a uh, Medissa. I want to go fight this armatized Moloch really quick. Let's go, crush. Oh, I miss. I missed the guard didn't prop because I missed. Too easy? Are those the Moloch's making that sound when they get hit? I love it. It's over. Too easy.
You won't get any pity or compassion from me. Such power.